Hi, Sagittarius. This is Aqua Moonlight. Thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your reading for the month of November 2021. So this is going to be a November forecast for you. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node. So just take what fits with you, Sagittarius. We're going to see what's coming in for you. What does Spirit want you to know? Um, any guidance, any advice, just whatever comes up here. So let's jump into it. So Spirit, Angels, what messages please do we have for the collective Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node? Anyone tuning into this reading who is a Sagittarius here, energy, what is coming in for you in November? What's shifting? What's in store? What do you need to know? What uh, information do we have here, Spirit? Thank you. All right, let's get an overall theme here. What is the overall theme, Spirit, for Sagittarius in November? What is the overall theme? All right, we have Anima Mundi here. Let's get one more. What is the overall theme for Sagittarius in November? We have the dead end. That card came out for Taurus as well. All right, so I'm actually going to get a few of these wolf cards to go along with it and see. Tell me about Sagittarius with this energy in November. Beautiful. So we have this rainbow here, the new beginning. So it says here, now that lessons have been learned, you are about to start a new beginning. Love, money, happiness, children, investments, or travel. The past is put to rest. Look to the future. So this is actually really beautiful here. I do think that many of you have a new beginning. With this dead end that came through, you know, clearly there is something. <clears throat> At the bottom, actually, we do have excessive pressure here and decision. So you may be going through an intense excessive pressure Try not to take on any more responsibility. Look for solutions. Um, change may be difficult, but it will be worth the results. So for some of you with this dead end here, and I did see the cave as well, I believe, at the bottom. I'm not sure if it's still here, but uh, yeah, and we have the destroyer here too. So um, I do feel for you, Sagittarius, you may feel like you've been under excessive pressure. You may also feel like you've had to seek um, or make a decision here when it comes to some aspect of your life. Um, and now that I feel this dead end is coming to an end, it's coming to a close here. It's like you can't really move any further is what I'm getting towards any dead end energy. So with this new beginning and the beautiful rainbow here, you do have a, a brand new start coming in with this anima mundi here too. Some of you I feel are going to be kind of looking at the bigger picture of life like you usually do anyway, Sagittarius. But um, I feel like this is going to be a time of expansion for you in terms of could even be study um, things that you're drawn to experience here and it will bring more color. It will bring more vibrancy here to your life. Um, we also have here balance. You might, you might find it difficult to maintain emotional balance because someone or something in your life is creating obstacles, a need for change and realignment. So that also came through here too. So definitely if there's a situation off balance for you, this is what you're going to be doing. I just noticed we have, see the big picture at the bottom here. So yeah, that's what I'm getting with the balance here. This is you needing to find more balance. So you're realigning here, something that you need to shift and change. So you may be finding that your emotions have been, you know, you just have not been able to find emotional balance, especially with the success of pressure here and the dead end and the balance. So this is coming to an end for you because I feel like you are going to take a new route or things will shift for you in a positive way. So what else for Sagittarius? Whoop. That's too many, but I did see, <laughs> okay, I guess it wants to come out. We have learned from the past elephant spirit.
What else for Sagittarius? Yes, we have the B, uh, the, not the B, I don't, know, I don't know why I said the B, the Dove Spirit, B Peace. So definitely this is a, an indication here that if you have been finding that it's been difficult for you um, to find balance, to find peace, to find fulfillment, this will be shifting here for you. And so anything that I feel is not bringing you a sense of peace, it is a dead end for you. So it doesn't feel like with this balance here, this is not a peaceful situation and with this excessive pressure here too. So don't try to bite off more than you can chew or take more responsibility than you can handle is what spirit is saying here. So even though it may be difficult because you have to make changes in your life, you may have to, um, you know, maybe reprioritize things or you need to clear your schedule or you need to even let go of certain situations here. This is going to be for your best. Okay. I feel like this is also coming from a sense of you knowing your worth. So it, obviously a situation here that is not going to bring you you know, fulfillment, or it feels too much pressure. I'm getting for some of you too, maybe you've been given too much pressure. I don't know if it's by a partner or by, you know, work or something, but um, it's not, you know, you deserve more than that. You deserve to be happy and you deserve to find more peace in your life. And this could actually be something you're learning from a uh, deep past. You know, maybe it's situations that you've been involved in, maybe even long-standing lessons that you've been moving through that I feel you're learning from. And now you're finally kind of at this level with this anima mundi of putting the whole picture together um, and seeing the, the big picture here. I'm also seeing we have this card, respect. You may be having conflict with an elder. They have earned respect. Make more of an effort and greater harmony will come. So this could even be for some of you other people who are respecting you or this is what you're kind of needing, you know, or requiring is a level of more respect. I think that's probably what that is. It could also be that you have an elder around you. You know, maybe it's a, a parent or um, someone here that we'll see what else comes up for that. So we also have the Badger Spirit, be fearless and bold, and we have co-create with Spirit, the, the Crow here. So let's get a few more to go along with this. So what else for Sagittarius in November? Yeah, it kind of feels a bit of a difficult energy for some of you, okay? Because we have the sorrow card here. It says, pain is a necessary tool to help you become wiser than before. It's all about perspective. Let pain push you into action so you can make those long overdue changes in your life. That's pretty much what, what I'm getting. So with this learn from the past, the elephant here too, like an elephant has such a you know great memory here too. Um, and since we have this excessive pressure and the dead end, kind of like a 10 of wands in the world here energy too, like um, you may have to come to terms with something that you've been having. It's a long overdue change for you. So it's like you've been maybe trying to balance on this log for so long, you know, like this wolf here and it just has not... It has not um, brought you a sense of more wholeness. So I do think this could be coming from pain uh, for, for some of you, like you're learning through pain. So let the pain push you into action to seeing a greater purpose in life here too. You might even be taking on studying more spiritual um, you know, topics or just becoming more enlightened here. And that's part of what this is too. So even if it's a difficult change for many of you, I do think that you are becoming more fearless and more bold here moving forward to make those necessary changes if you feel out of balance or off pressure, see, or uh, excessive pressure and with know your worth too. I definitely feel like this has been a long time coming for many of you. So we also have the law of attraction. So yeah, work with the law of attraction, um, whatever you think, you know, you become. So work with the positive energies that are available to you with the law of attraction and just become more, um, you know, whatever you want, visualize it, maybe journal it, write it, and it will come true for you. So the North Node also flew out here. So we also have this tone it down. More is not always better. What do you need less of in your life? Whatever it is, it's calling for a more subtle approach to influence change. So 
this could be anything. It could be the way you, you know, appear, the way you look. It could be what you have going on in your life. Maybe you have too much in excess, something about excessiveness. So um, you need to tone something down, kind of like a temperance energy. So I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if the temperance card comes through. So whatever you feel with the balance too is an excess. You know, maybe you're just doing too much and you can't really, you can't really keep up with it. You know, you're working harder, not smarter, or this could even be within, you know, things that you're addicted to or attachment styles, things like this that I feel, or maybe just the way that you are projecting yourself here. It's not always good to be more, but sometimes less is better is what this is saying. So try a more subtle approach to something here in your life, a more balanced approach approach Sagittarius anything else because whatever it is it feels like it's been going on for a while all right so we have Saturn return and we have the 11th house so I think this came through for Scorpio I believe it was so um, this, this, especially if you're around the age of 30 or 60, you could be going through a Saturn return. Um, but even if you're not, you know, actually going through it, this is indicating a difficult lesson. So I'm not surprised that we have this sorrow here too, because we really have to look at the truth when the Saturn return comes through. We have to look at what are we carrying that is just no longer suitable for us. Um, it could even be breaking apart from long, you know, marriages or relationships, or maybe leaving a job that we've been in for 10, 15 years or something like this. And it definitely with the Saturn return, it comes with a very difficult lesson of having to put things into perspective and also make really necessary changes in our life. So this could even be taking place around your friend group, your 11th house energy so the people you surround yourself with here um so it could also just be that you are moving into more you know you're you're meeting people who are going to be more of long-standing friendships for you but i definitely feel like this is coming with it's like a, a, a balance you know you may have to cut certain people out or certain situations out in order to make room for the new situation so whatever this is for you sagittarius it's reached a dead end um so it, you, you know you can't really sustain it anymore so you need to find peace. You need to find this new beginning that's calling for you. So take a look at what is not bringing you peace. And so let's see what else. Sagittarius. And <laughs> let go of whatever it is that you've been holding on to so tightly out of fear of losing it. Know that whatever is yours will have a way of being in your life without needing to force it. Finally, let it go and feel the weight lifted off of you. So yeah, I mean, definitely November. I think the whole month for you is going to be about just clearing, cleansing, removing, letting go. But for you, it's in a deeper way. You know, it's kind of in a way where it um, feels like if you've brushed a lot under the rug for years or something, or you've tried to... Uh, let go of something or a certain habit for so long. It's like it's finally accumulated to the point of this Saturn return energy of having to face it. We can't really avoid it. So expect some major change, I feel, in your life um, with this learn from the past here too. So let's see what else we have. So we also have you have a compassionate giving nature that is always putting others before yourself to help, help as much as you can. Make sure that you're not overextending your energy. So kind of like with this tone it down, it doesn't have to be towards other people. It really could be, like I said, anything, you know, maybe you're working too much at your job and uh, you're, you're not being paid for it or some, something like this. The, it's something about toning down the energy um, and removing the excessive energy that's making things more difficult than it has to be, I feel, is what this is indicating. We also have at the bottom a card about being lonely is different than being alone. So with this 11th house too, um, I also feel I'm getting a few things. I'm getting that it might be that some of you feel like, well, it's better to be in the same, for example, a relationship or it's better to be friends with people you've known for a long time, even your family, just because it's easier than to face the drama or to face the, um, the conversation or the confrontation of having to cut it out. But I'm actually getting that you do have to face the truth here. So it's better for you to find peace than to live a lie type of thing is what I'm getting. And on the other hand, I'm getting if you have been isolating yourself too much, if you've been 
feeling like you have no you know friends or you don't have the right people around you this is about asking yourself how can you make new friends that are going to connect with you uh, and, and and have similarities with you here anything else for Sagittarius what's coming in for you in November Wow, this is a very strong message for you. Another card, depletion. So set boundaries with energy vampires. So seems to be the main focus for you here. Learn when to say no. We have freedom. <laughs> wow. Freedom. We have playfulness here. So, yeah, that's what I'm... Obviously, with the freedom, it goes without saying. That's what this is about here. But with the playfulness, and this is kind of you right now, Sagittarius, because of your, you know, your totem with the horse had here too. So I feel like this is, you know, you yearn to be free, you know, you want to experience things, you want to expand, you want to keep growing with your Jupiter energy too. Um, so you don't like to be feeling confined. So that's what I'm getting with the freedom here. So really hold yourself um, or free yourself from what's holding you back. With this playfulness too, that's why I'm getting with this 11th house to try to lighten up a little bit if you're taking things too seriously. Some of you might have Taurus in your chart because there's a few cards that came through for Taurus too, but um, with this playfulness here, really try to uplift your energy a little bit more. Don't take on so much that it boggle, um, boggles, <laughs> that it drags you down is what I'm getting. So find little things, whether it's small things or just taking on new hobbies or doing things that you love to do, that can really help you to also lift your energy a little bit and bring you a sense of inner peace. Um, so I'm not going to take all these because they're, they're pretty much repeating the same thing, but self cares and we have independence. What was hidden from you will soon be revealed. So something that has been hidden from you, let's get a little bit more information with the tarot here, but something that's been hidden from you will soon be revealed. So this could be anything. It could be that, um, with the Saturn return too, oftentimes it does come with certain truth bombs or certain situations that come through that are very honest, you know, very truthful. So it might even be, it might even be that you're going to receive some news in November here, um, which will give you more insight into what has been hidden, what has really been going on here. So let's see what else for Sagittarius spirits in November. So this could be taking place for some of you around your family. We have the, wow, so we have the death in reverse, which makes perfect sense because this whole thing is about an ending of some sort, a transition for you. Um, some of you with the death being in reverse, you have not made this change yet uh, with the seven of wands. I mean, yeah, this is a defensive energy. The seven of wands usually comes through when we feel like we need to, we need to defend ourselves. We need to um, make sure that we are protecting what is ours and sometimes it could be excessive you know and, and and we're being kind of paranoid or we're not really um we're we're putting too many walls up but in this case I do think that this is about preserving and protecting your energy here too so you may have to have you may have to stand your ground here in November about something with the death in reverse though you may have not ended something or you're waiting for something to end um Whatever it is, it does feel like it's inevitable here. At least a shift, you know, with the Saturn return. With the so yeah, we have a very strong emphasis around home and family with the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. I want to get a little bit more information for that because I do think for some of you this is taking place directly around your home and your family. But for others of you, it might be that you are, you know, actually um like solidifying something within either love or within a uh, family situation here because sometimes the Saturn return too can force us to make changes that don't always have to be an ending like for example if you've been having difficulties in a, in a connection 
Maybe you have to withstand the truth or the storm or the challenges in order to be stronger as a couple or as a relationship. So that could also be what this is. But it's definitely around your sense of um, children could be involved too is what I'm hearing. Let me look at, we're not going to focus a lot on love, but I do want to get one energy for you, Sagittarius, for your love life. And let's just see if this goes together. So what spirit do we have for Sagittarius in their love life in the month of November? What is the theme spirit for Sagittarius in November? Okay, so we have Apology and we have Past Life Love. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands for Sagittarius. Okay, so we have Go Slow, we have Finances, and we have Spiritual Lesson here. So for one, some of you may have a past life connection in your life, and this is something that is here to teach you a lesson, whether it's new or past connection, um, it is here to teach you a lesson. You may be receiving an apology from somebody. This could be someone with this death in reverse. It could be connected. You know, this is somebody who feels like they owe you an apology or they need to come towards you to make something right here. Okay. What's going on for Sagittarius in love in November? Yeah, you do have the Page of Cups. So many of you will have some form of um, apology extended toward to you or you are extending this apology to them is what I'm getting. Yeah, see here we have the Ten of Wands. That's what I was getting up there with the dead end and the excessive pressure. So this could even be someone you're, you know, maybe you're in a relationship currently or maybe you're even married. But um, some form of excessive pressure cannot be carried anymore. And I do think it's going to be released during this time of change and, you know, truth and all of this stuff that we have come through. This could actually be what's going to be revealed to you. The Page of Cups and the concealment here, you might find the truth about why something happened. Because like I said a few times, the Saturn here returned too. Oftentimes it does come with the truth. So don't be surprised if there's some either shocking energy or just what you've been waiting for will come out um, is what I'm seeing here. So we do have the Queen of Wands reverse though. So this could be you here. Let's, look, let's get one card for the um, outcome. Where's your love life heading here? overall because I definitely feel like with the death the seven of wands the queen of wands this might be you being very defensive maybe for a good reason but the magician what does Sagittarius need to know about love I'm hearing your hard work is paying off. So something about your hard work paying off. So we have risk here. You must not take any risks at this time, such as love, money, or career. You may find yourself manipulated by someone you love or trust. Be alert. Wow, control. So this may not be for all of you, um, Sagittarius, but for some of you, if you feel like you're being controlled... Um, this is something I feel that will be revealed to you and you'll know what to do when the time comes because with that seven of wands, you may need, like, it's almost like if you want to keep moving forward with your life, you may need to stand your ground here when it comes to a situation because I definitely feel like there's either way. It's like, don't move into something too quickly in November when it comes to love. So if this is something new or this is someone who comes back to apologize to you, um, spirit is advising that you move very slowly. Don't take any hasty risks here because it might be that somebody is either wanting to control the situation a little bit, or there's a control, like a, um, a like an ego clash here, a control battle here. So make sure that you are standing in your queen of wands element here, because it's almost like this 
just may backtrack into this death in reverse. Like it's not able to complete itself if you keep going back to the same lesson. And that's what I'm seeing with the past life love too. So you could be, you could have someone in your life who is a past life, um, maybe karmic relationship. Um, and this is what is giving you, this is, this is what's, this is a lesson for you here. So overall, you probably will receive some news, apology, message, um, offer coming in for you in love. It will reveal what has been hidden for you. This is probably about if you have um, a family involvement here or maybe someone you were married to even. Okay. And or this is about you knowing that you want to build this Ten of Cups, Four of Wands. But that's what I'm getting. So let's get any final messages for Sagittarius in November. Yeah, I'm in a harmonious partnership. See, it's definitely about being in a harmonious partnership here that I feel you want. And you could be resolving that with someone. Kind of like a make it or break it, though, I feel. Sagittarius, what's going on in November for you? have Freya here. So phases and cycles. This is a beginning. There's a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed. Wow. So yeah, look at this moth here too in the darkness. So something is being revealed. There's a, see how there's like a darker energy here with the moon and it's like, this is what's allowing you to have a new beginning. So within every truth comes a new beginning because we're able to see it. You know, we're able to accept it. So don't be afraid of the truth. Don't be afraid of the darkness here. Don't be afraid of um, hearing or seeing the truth because this, once this is out in the open and once it's revealed, it will make way for an even stronger beginning, you know, new beginning or something new entirely for you. But that's what the death in reverse. I don't know why it's, it's some form of resistance to allow this ending to take place. Um, is what I'm getting. So let's get the self-care energy for you, Sagittarius, in November. Self-care. We have dance. So this is making sense, too, with the freedom here, because dancing, you know, can really, really um, lift our vibration. It can also kind of like shake up any stagnant energy. So maybe dance, you know, um, maybe some form of, um, like tribal dancing here is something that's being advised to just to shake up the energy to, to find freedom. So it's like, you're really going through the depths of the darkness here. Um, and you're transmuting it and it's kind of rising within your body. It's, you know, it's, it's, um, freeing itself. So dancing can be really helpful for you in terms of self care this month. Wow. Movement. <laughs> yep. So movement is going to be really helpful for you. So exercise, yoga, whatever you like to do, um, dancing and movement together is that's the advice for you. So energetic too. So yeah, this is about you finding energy and passion and drive and, and really putting that forth to what you want to create and who you want to be. I'm motivated, disciplined. This could even be that you need motivation to, you know, maybe be healthier, to live a healthier lifestyle. That's also part of the Saturn return too, because it puts things into like the truth for us. Like what, what do we need to, you know, exercise more? Do we need to look after our health more? Do we need to become more organized? Whatever it is that we need to do, um, this is something I feel you're shifting into in November. So definitely move your body. All right, let's get the final messages for Sagittarius. So the final messages for Sagittarius spirit, please, in November. Anything else that the angels want you to know? We have summer. 
wow, summer romance. So this, I'm getting two things. This could be something that happened in the summertime that you had a summer romance. This might be specific for you, but if you are dealing with someone that you met in the summertime, where I'm at, this would be the last, um, you know, four months or so, five, four or five months, something like this. Um, this is someone that this could be about, you know, this whole go slow past life relationship here. For others of you, though, this is next summer. So, okay, so again, where I'm at here, it would be next, like next six months or so. You could have a new love coming in for you or someone coming towards you. And this is going to be the fulfillment of your romantic desires. What else for Sagittarius? We have unlikely here and we have connect with nature. Let's get the last one. I'm not sure what unlikely means. What else for Sagittarius? What's unlikely? Okay, goodbye to the old, hello to the new, and changing your mind. Yeah, I swear that came through for Taurus, too. So I feel like what Spirit's saying is that there's something unlikely about whatever this dead end is, whatever this old situation is for many of you. So this is saying that in the summer, maybe a better time to um, have that or to embark on that here, you might be changing your mind. So it might be that you're going to be changing your mind about something that you currently feel is for you or that you currently feel is... I don't know, something about the change here. Goodbye to the old, hello to the new. So things are definitely changing for you. So spend time in nature, spend time to ground yourself here. Um, and next summer, or yeah, next summer, I think things are going to be a better time for you. So I hope this helped you, Sagittarius. I'm just going to leave it here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great day and much love.